Hello students, let's read the problem. And it says, Paul is a professional diver. He started diving at 8 a.m. At 8.05 a.m., he reached 40 meters down. Draw a graph that represents the rate of change of the diver's descent. So what are we talking about here? Well, we're talking about a professional diver, right? And it says that he started diving at 8 a.m. That's when he started, right? Okay. By 8.05, so now we're talking about 8.05 means five minutes late, right? Okay, very good. By 8.05, he had already reached 40 meters down, okay? And they're asking me to find what is the rate of change for this situation, okay? So first of all, let's analyze the question. It says that he started diving at 8 in the morning, but then by 8.05, he had already reached 40 meters down, which means that how many minutes pass by five minutes in between the time when he started which of course is zero meters down right and eight or five okay so if you notice i do have an x and a y value okay this is my x this is my y value i know it seems like they're in the same but x is this one over here Okay, and I'm kind of tracing it this time with a highlighter because I need for you to understand where's my uh, X and my Y. Because if you notice, this is not the traditional one, right? Why? Because think about this as the water, right? That's the water. And what he's going to do, love my monitors, right? Like that. <laughs> so what he's going to do, he's going to start diving in, in, into the water, right? So, it says right here that he started at 8 a.m., that means 0, 0. By 8.05, he had already gone down 40 meter, meters, right? So, if you look at X, that's my time. These are the minutes, right? So, this is my five minutes right there, okay? What about how much did he go? after five minutes. Well, this on the Y, it's the deep, how deep he's going, okay? So the first thing that we're gonna do is, how about if we think about change of the Y over the change of the X, okay? And the change of the Y is how deep he goes, and the X is the minutes. It's a time, but in minutes, right? So how deep he went after five minutes? Because remember, that's the only data that we have. So five minutes into Paul diving, he was already 40 meters down, which means negative 40, okay? So the question here would be, okay, if that's five minutes, how deep did he go in only one minute therefore we are gonna simplify that's how ratios help us right and i can divide by five i will get negative eight over one so i'm gonna write it down here again minutes Hold. we write minutes okay and I want to write down my unit rate that I found, which is negative 8 over 1. So what does that mean? Because we went from a negative 40 over 5 to a negative 8 over 1. So that means that after one minute, and it's right here, after one minute, Paul was already 8 meters down, okay? So that's basically what we have. So I'm gonna write it down as a as an order pair, where this is x and this is y, where x is the minutes and y is how deep Paul goes. Okay. So in one minute, 
paw is going to go how many meters down? Eight meters. And I know somehow I want to find more over here. But the one that was given to me was, well, in five minutes, he was already negative 40 or 40 meters down. And I hope that you're not too worried about where did I get the five from. Remember that it says that he started at, five, at 8 a.m.? Then by 8.05, that means five minutes had passed by, okay? So I'm still missing some of these other ratios, right? But I can find them. Look, I can multiply by two if I want to find the next one. And that will give me negative 16 over two. So what does that mean? It means that in two minutes, I'm going to write it on my order pairs, in two minutes, Pa will be 16 meters down. Okay? Now, what about if I do the same thing, but now I'm going to multiply by 3. Okay? So, what do I get? Well, a negative 8 times 3 is negative 24, and that's a 3. So, what's my next order pair? So, pa, after 3 minutes... Okay, when he, when three minutes pass by, Paul is going to be at 24 meters down. And we're talking about underwater, right? Okay, and we can do one more. And I'm trying to find more equivalent ratios, right? So I'm going to multiply by four. And I am going to get negative 32 and a four. So what does that mean? Well, it means that when four minutes pass by, Pa is going to be 32 meters underwater, okay? And the last one, which we already have, it's 5 and negative 40, okay? So we're going to complete the graph now using those ratios that I found. So <clears throat> this is my X. If you prefer to write down the 1 up here, and then this will be two minutes, three minutes, four minutes, and five minutes. Maybe that can make you feel much better, right? Okay. So this is my one and negative eight. So where these two points intersect, that's my point that I'm looking for. Okay. What's the second point? Two and negative 16. So when two minutes had passed by, Pa is going to be at 16 meters down. Got that? How about when three minutes goes by? Then Pa is going to be even further into the water. So he's going to be at 24 meters deep. Okay? Oh, sorry, that's not the point. Okay. Sorry about that. It will be right here. Okay. So we check because remember that you look up. Make sure you are at 3. Look across to the left. You make sure you're at negative 24. The next one is 4, which is right here. So I'm going to look down at 4. And I'm going to look across at 32, which is right here. Okay. So you can put some lines if you don't want to get confused like the way it happened to me. Right. And this is the point where these two lines intersected. So that's my 4 and negative 2, 32. The last one is 5 and negative 40. This is my 5. That's the last one. That's the one that was given to me, right? After 5 minutes that had passed by, Pa was already at negative 40, which is right here. Do you see the line that he created right here? The more time goes by, the deeper he is going to be, okay? So what was my slope for this one? Well, my slope is right here, okay? You don't need to write it as a fraction. You can just write it as a, as a number, right? So I'm going to say the slope is negative 8. And it's negative because think about it. It's going underwater, right? And this is my unit rate okay 